Hello and welcome to video tutorial how to create partitions on Windows Server 2003. To create partitions, right click on my computer, click on manage. This opens the computer management. In computer management, select disk management under storage. Here we have two disks, disk 0 and disk 1. Let's create partitions on disk 1. Right click on unallocated space and click on new partition. This opens the welcome to the new partition wizard. Click on next to continue. Here we have partition type. Basically we have two types of partitions primary partition and extended partition. Primary partitions are the only partitions that are bootable. So every system needs at least one primary partition. Whereas extended partition is not bootable. However, we can locate the windows directory on this extended partition. Extended partition contains the logical drives we will see that in later let's create the primary partition first select primary partition click on next here we can specify the partition size let's say of 1 GB click on next assign drive letter or path here we can assign a drive letter to the drive let's say E click on next if you want to perform a quick format check the box perform a quick format and file system as FAT FAT32 or NTFS here we will be selecting the file system NTFS click on next click on finish So now we have one primary partition on disk 1. Let's see how many primary partitions we can create. We will be creating one more. Right click on the unallocated space. Click on new partition. Click on next. Select primary partition. Click on next. Let's add one more. 1 GB. Click on next. Assign the following drive letter, select the drive letter and click on next. Select perform a quick format and click on next, click on finish. Let's create one more, right click new partition, click on next, select primary partition, click on next, one more GB, click on next, click on next from a quick format click on next click on finish now let's create one more right click on unallocated space new partition click on next select primary partition click on next select one more GB click on next click on next perform a quick format click on next click on finish So now we have four primary partitions on disk 1. Let's try to create one more. Right click on unallocated space. You can see that new partition option is grayed out. That means on a disk we can create up to four primary partitions. So the, remo the remaining unallocated space 35.99 GB is unused. So let's delete one primary partition. Right click on the primary partition. Click on delete partition. Click on yes to continue. So now we have three primary partitions. Right click on unallocated space. Now he here it is showing the new partition option. 
click on new partition click on next select extended partition and click on next let's create the extended partition with 10 gig click on next click on finish now let's create one more partition in the unallocated space right click on unallocated space here you can see that new partition is grayed out this means we can create only one extended partition on a disk so here the right procedure is to create three primary partitions and allocate the remaining whole space to an extended partition so that we can create a logical drives in that let's delete the extended partition right click delete yes now right click on unallocated space click on new partition click on next select extended partition click on next allocate the whole space and click on next click on finish so now we have three primary partitions and one extended now right click on extended partition and you can see a option new logical drive click on new lo logical drive click on next now you can see that the only option here is logical drive that means that logical drive can be created only in extended partition click on next here let's queue the space as 1 GB click on next here we can assign a drive letter assign a drive letter and click on next perform a quick format click on next click on finish so now we have one logical drive in extended partition let's create one more right click on free space click on new logical drive click on next select logical drive click on next it's one more GB click on next assign a drive letter click on next perform a quick format click on next click on finish so similarly we can create n number of logical drives in extended partition according to our needs so we have seen that we can create up to four primary partitions or three primary partitions and one extended partition thank you for watching this video tutorial